Hey you guys, Death Letter Magic here, and it's finally the 12th. You remember what's happening January 12th? Well, you do if you read the title. It's news about the Alchemy Rebalance, and it's the first item in their uh, multi-arena announcement. So this is just going to be the arena announcement video. Plus, I don't think they did an arena announcement thing, like a, I want to say weekly roundup uh, since before Christmas. So this is about to get wild. All right, Alchemy Rebalance news. It's been a month since the release of Alchemy. It feels like longer. And we've enjoyed seeing the format grow and take its first steps over the holiday season. There is no way that they enjoyed seeing anything that happened to Alchemy. Anything. The complaints, the lack of sales, the lack of people in the queue. There is nothing that happened to Alchemy that they could possibly be happy about. Everybody hates it, and for like five completely different reasons. So after that bold face lie, we've got, and now, that's right, the next sentence starts with the word and, two of our first competitive alchemy events are almost here. Great. The arena opened this weekend, and the qualifier weekend next weekend. The format for both of those is alchemy? You've got to be kidding me. Oh my gosh. That, that's, that's terrible that, to do that to people. How dare they? Anyway, we know many players are preparing hard for these events, and we will not be making any late-breaking changes to the format before they occur. Yes, we know that. You already said that, but you said there would be more information on the 12th. So, let's read the second paragraph. After the qualifier weekend, you can look forward to Alchemy's next phase. See, that makes it sound like not just a tweak, a rebalance. It's a next phase. They're changing everything. So, um, I hope so. I mean, they could be overselling this. This whole entire section is a lie. I mean, when Twitter, Reddit, some of the more <laughs> open, unmoderated subreddits, aka the real ones full of real people, when those three groups, plus kind of sparingly on Mark Rosewater's blog in the comment section, all of the people are in agreement that alchemy is crap, Okay, that's like if in the middle of World War II, aliens invaded and all the countries teamed up. So hopefully the next phase is get rid of it. We all know they're just going to change. Oh, changes in standard. Don't propagate to historic and we're going to make the changes separately. And then they're just going to proceed with this, you know, power creep, moving the goalpost crap that is just a money grab that nobody cares about. What a waste of time. They could have been making Pioneer. Uh, so anyway... After the qualifier weekend, you can look forward to Alchemy's next phase with a new handful of rebalanced cards coming your way. I could have read the second part of that uh, sentence before commenting on it, but... Yeah, if the new phase is just a handful of rebalanced cards, that's nothing. Um, there will be boosts to some fun cards that aren't getting much love right now. Oh, I love higher power levels. As well as adjustments for some current strategies. I haven't seen such corporate speak PR nonsense dancing around the issue since tobacco companies tried to convince people that smoking wasn't that bad. So they're going to boost fun cards that aren't getting much love right now, probably because of the toxic, broken, bullshit strategies, uh, and then make some adjustments to some current strategies, like broken crap like life gain and blitz and everything else they upgraded from tier one. Oh boy. I had to briefly play Alchemy because that stupid uh, decathlon thing, and it was a nightmare. It was actually ten times worse than I even imagined it would be just looking at the spoilers. And that's the beginning and the end of my Alchemy experience, and it was a, a true actual nightmare. So if you're not even on Arena or haven't played lately or haven't tried Alchemy, it's worse. It is much worse. So then all they end with is, we're excited for it, we hope you are too. You better be hoping pretty hard because nobody gives a flying crap about Alchemy. And that's the end of the alchemy section. I was hoping for a much, much, much bigger update than this. This is ridiculous. Kind of makes me want to play a completely different game. Hmm, where would I find something like that? Anyway, then they say the January 22nd arena open, put your skills to the test, blah, 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 went up to $2,500 or don't. I mean, it's alchemy. You could probably just run the most broken shit and probably do okay with it. But uh, yeah, you know how the opens work. It's a two day thing. You qualify for day two and then if it doesn't all break and you show up at the right time and they didn't post the wrong time and you know what? You're probably just not going to have a smooth tournament. Look, there's a whole separate article about it, but yeah, apparently it's um, best of one and best of three on day one, and then I think all best of three on day two, and it's alchemy, so no thanks. They have an entire article about it, but I just don't care. By the way, a little warning about best of three. It completely ruined the decathlon finals, uh, because if you had the Dracula lands, the basic lands, in your deck, it prevented you from sideboarding. 
people lost like ultra important matches and were not sure what was going on. Like they lost the, the entire tournament. They lost the entire decathlon finals because they bought the premium Dracula skins. Boy, I mean, favoring your, your whales and giving people a pay to win advantage is one thing. Pay to lose. <laughs> That's like, that's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it works out for him. So I wouldn't touch this. Arena's a glitchy mess, and, and you got the worthless, useless, pointless decathlon thing. Now you got money on the line, okay? That's where I draw the line. That's where I'm not touching it. Not not in the glitchy, disastrous state of the code. Not to mention the dumpster fire that is uh, alchemy right now. I wish they would post stats about what, you know, the deck percentages were and stuff and other stuff that they have for, like, MTGO, because this is going to be hilariously one-sided. All right, next up, they got Arena Cube happening now. Oh, boy. Draft with... Oh, yeah, I think I saw this on Arena. It actually looks like crap. Um, Draft with the best cards in Magic's history and play best of one, best of... Uh, or best of three matches in Arena Cube available right now. I think it was 4,000 coins to draft where it's 5,000 for, like, a normal computer draft. And you don't keep any of the cards. So you don't keep any of the cards. You don't get anything out of it at all. Except for the prizes, which I, I could have sworn were like cosmetic, but who knows? Maybe it was packs, I don't know. But they really think the singles themselves, the actual cards, are worth just knocking off 20%. You're on your minds, wizards. I have done cube drafts in the past, just casual, you know, not as part of like a big, big tournament or anything. And they were pretty fun, though, so eh, I wouldn't pay that much, though. That's kind of nuts. Just buy four packs or play a different game. Uh, it's only available till the 20th, though, so you got about eight days to go uh, check it out if you're interested. Then they got this thing called Mad Science. It starts next weekend. Uh, want to add Crimson Vow Eternal Night card styles to your collection? No, they look awful. They're grayscale crap. Is that even a real question? Uh, here's an opportunity to score some. Mad Science is an alchemy event. Oh, here we go again. Featuring the Zombies special emblem. The, the Zombies exclamation mark special emblem. What? With the text, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, a mass X, where X is the spell's mana value. Oh, I remember a mass. It wasn't very good, but whatever. I do like, you know, weird, quirky stuff where they add a modifier to it. It's like, oh, just play normal magic, but with, you know, this mod, this change, this, you know, turbo draft, or this chaos thing that throws a monkey wrench in it. It's different, but the problem is the basis for this is alchemy, so I'm not going to touch it. Neither is anyone. Just give up on alchemy. I mean, seriously, just give up on it, wizards. Just get rid of it. So this trash pile that almost sounds fun, but that they ruined, uh, starts on the 21st. Oh, boy. By the way, 2,000 gold or 400 gem entry fee, and all you get is some gold back and some card styles. So then they go to the midweek, or the, the full schedule, but the one I care about is the midweek magic, which is uh, 11th through the 13th, so going on right now, it's alchemy. Who gives a crap? I should have just ignored that. Uh, 18th through the 20th though, Momir, let's go, get up for that one. Uh, January 25th through the 27th, uh, slow start. I actually have no idea what that is and they don't define it. Wonderful. Um, it, wait, did they copy my idea for like NR5 from Starcraft? You know, no rush five where you can't attack for like five turns? What else would slow start be? Those bastards, they copied me. So uh, February 1st to the 3rd, Historic All Access, where you can build whatever you want without needing to own the cards. So if you want to jump in for just like a little thing, you know, in the middle of the week just to play arena, but you don't have any wild cards to keep up, well, there you go. And then uh, February 8th through the 10th, Cascade, which is awful. So, boy, a bit of a mixed bag there uh, for Quick Draft, so against the computer, so very exploitable, cheatable, and don't touch it. Uh, January 7th through the 21st, we got Strixhaven, one of the worst draftable sets I have ever played with in my life. Uh, then we got the 21st through the 4th, it's going to be Crimson Vow, okay, that one's kind of, it's fairly balanced. Um, then February 4th and 13th, the D&D set. Okay, I'll use the full title, Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. Hey, remember when there was just one called Ixalan? Hey, remember when it was called Atlazan? Oh, there's a shocker from the past. Uh, they got info of the qualifier weekends, but honestly, who gives a crap because it's alchemy? Uh, the arena open, I'm not going to give any more data on that because it's alchemy and nobody cares. Uh, then they got other events. It's pretty much just the cube and then the mad science thing. But then they have uh, an event they didn't reiterate elsewhere, which is uh, January 28th through February 10th, Innistrad Double Feature Draft. Oh boy, and you can get the Dracula card style. That's what everybody wants. It'll probably blow up your client. I gotta say, we did like the fake uh, double feature draft somewhere in the decathlon, and it was awful. It was so bad. Now, it was sealed, I do believe, but uh, we just couldn't get anything going. 
It's, there was just no synergy, which is weird because he added the two together. But you had to go heavier on one than the other. Now, if this is a draft, I feel like that would actually work. But that was the worst sealed experience I've ever seen in my life. Or maybe it was a draft. Wait, was it? I feel like sealed was something else. I don't know. What, whatever it was, I just remember it was awful. When they mixed the two together, it was awful. But if you get packs that contain both cards instead of just some packs from each, which is what the event was, that might work better too. But it was just shocking how you, you couldn't get werewolves or vampires off the ground. There was so little synergy, everybody just went to three color and tried to make that work. And it was just, oh, whoever gets color screwed the least wins. Wow, how exciting. So yeah, pretty grim outlook here, and I wish we would have had more information about the uh, alchemy thing, the, the alchemy changes, but they, they kept saying, oh, we'll tell you more about it on the 12th. All the information, all the answers will come on the 12th. And then the answer is, we're making some changes, we'll tell you later. That's what you said the first time, you douchebags. So anyway, I'm sick of talking about this crap. I think uh, the overwhelming majority of you in my comment section say that you've quit Arena already. So that's why I cover these, because, well, if you're not actively playing it, you still might want to know what's going on. Or know if you can jump in for, like, an all-access event or a silly event or a Momir thing or whatever. Because I'm not going to lie, those are fun. And when there's no stakes or whatever, hey. And uh, no, I can't answer the question that you're probably already typing in the comment section. Thanks for asking, though. I'll see you guys next video.